Hello everyone. Welcome to the next lecture on CSRNet July 2024. Today I will explain you all those questions related to the integral equations which was asked in the part B and part C. Myself Dr. Hishkar, you can follow my YouTube channel where you can find the playlist of CSR UGC net and you can see I had uploaded the previous lecture on the differential equation, green function, Cauchy problem and many more all are related to the solution of July 2024. And the most interesting thing is I have uploaded all these solutions with the help of the shortcut points. Now, first of all, you have to subscribe my YouTube channel so that when I uploaded my next lectures, you will get the notifications. Now, always remember students, always remember student, whenever you will see the question related to the integral equation, that is the Fred Moll integral equation, your target is to write the matrix A. How you can write the matrix A and what is the matrix A, I will tell you. Now, second thing is, if you look about this integral equation, this x t is called as the kernel. Fine. Now, if you look about carefully about this kernel, you can see this function is my symmetric. Fine. This kernel is my symmetric because why? Because you can easily see x comma t is t comma x. Fine. Then, if you look about the options, they are talking about the resolvent kernel and find the solutions. So, what is the shortcut tricks? As I mentioned you in my previous lecture, how you can find the resolvent kernel? This is the first part, function of the x into t plus function of the second part, that is the x square into t square divided by 1 minus the coefficient of this integration, that is a lambda over 2. 1 minus lambda over 2 into lambda 1 into lambda 2 where this lambda 1 and lambda 2 are the eigens values of the matrix A. Fine. So it means your target is only to compute the matrix A. Fine. This is the shortcut tricks. If you if you didn't remember that I just recommended you you must watch about my these five lectures related to the integral equation and I have explained all these five lectures with the help of the shortcut tricks. So I have solved this problem again with the help of this eigenvalue. How you can find this matrix A? So I can write for you this is my kernel x comma t which is you can write this kernel in terms of k1 k1 of t plus k2x and k2 t. Now, if you compare then, it's a x into t. What does it mean? That means this value is my x, this value is my t. Similarly, this value is my x square and this value is my t square. Then your matrix A is 2 cross 2, fine, where the elements of the matrix A, i, j or you can say A, j, i or I can simply write as a A, i j which is integration of k i into t k j of t or you can call as a x with respect to x fine that is a that's i have explained it now the domain is minus 2 2 plus 2 now you can find its first values a 1 1 that is a k 1 k 1 of t k 1 of x but since the integration is with respect to x, so once you will substitute this value in terms of, you have to substitute in terms of the x. So this is in terms of x. This is again in terms of the x. So what is the answer of this? This x square, integration of the x square is x cube. So 8, 16 over 3. Fine. Now you can find the value of the a12. a12 means a k1. k1 of t, that is a x k2 of x, x square. So what is the integration from minus 2 to 2? Clearly say this function is my or, so the answer is 0. Similarly, a21, k2 of t, that is x square, into x, x cube. Again, x cube is my 0. Can you find the a22? a22 means that is the k2 and k2, that is the x4. So if you integrate them of the x4, x4, 5 divided by 5 from minus 2 to 2 that is 64 over 5. So what are the eigenvalues? Eigenvalues are my 16 over 3 
and 64 over 5. This value is called as the lambda 1. This value is called as the lambda 2. This value is corresponding to the 1. That is a k1. So this is a lambda 1. So I can substitute this value. This is 16 over 3. This is 16 over 3. And second value is 65, 64 over 5. Fine. Now that's it. Now you can simplify this. What is that? This will be cancelled out. 8. So 3 will be the LCM. 3 xt. 3 minus 8 lambda. Again it will be cancelled out. 32. 5 minus 32 times lambda. So second is the right answer. First option cancelled due to this negative sign. Fine. So these are the right answers. Now your next step is you have to find the solution. Again, a very simple approach. How you can find the solution if you remember my Fred Mole integral equation solution. If you watch my this lecture already, then you can easily get the solutions in a reasonable time. So u of x, which is equal to x plus lambda over 2 from integration from minus. Instead of this kernel, I can use as a resolvent. Into instead of the u, I can use as a function of the t. That is fine. Now you can you integrate them? It will be x plus lambda over 2. Since the, my resolvent kernel is this part, I can multiply this equation into t and integrate from minus t to t. Minus 2 to 2 with respect to t. So 3x over 3 minus 8 lambda is a constant and integration of t in t square. t square integration is t cube by 3. So that will be my 16 over 3. If you integrate them, it's a t cube. What is the integration from minus 2 to 2 is a 0. Now your target is to find the values at the 1. What is the answer of this? It is 1 plus 3 will be cancelled out. It's a, a times lambda over 3 minus. So what is the right answer of this? 3 over 3 minus 8 lambda is the right answer of this problem. So you can see the second and the fourth are my correct answer of this problem. Always remember student, whenever you will see the Fred Mole integral equation, your first step is to write this matrix. And how you can write this matrix? You can write this in terms of AIG. For more detail, I recommended you, you must watch about my these lectures and subscribe my YouTube channel. Now, another question, again, it's related to the part C. So you will again get a 4.75 marks easily. Again, it's a Fred Mole integral equation. So your first target is to write the matrix A. What is my kernel? Kx comma t is my 1 minus 3x into t. Fine. So this one I can written as a 1 into 1. Fine. Now they are not talking about the resolvent kernel. Fine. If they are talking about the resolvent kernel, then again you can write this term is lambda into lambda 1 and so on. But anyhow, what is my k1? k1 of x is 1. This is my k1 of x. k1 of t is again 1. k2 of x, a function of the x is minus of 3x. And k2 of t is my t. Then you can find the first integration. What is the first part is? a11. That is a k1, k1. If you integrate from 0 to 2, 0 to 1, answer is 1. What is the a12? That is k1 of t. k1 of t is my 1. k1 of 1 is 1 into k2 of x. k2 of x is my minus 3x. So what is the integration of this is? Minus 3 over 2. Can you find the a21? First part is related to the k1. k1, this is the k2 of t. k2 of t is my t. I have to substitute it in terms of the x into k1 of so 1. So integration of this will be 1 over 2. And the last part is a22. That is integration of minus 3x square. Integration is my minus 1. So can you find the eigenvalues? So lambda square trace will be 0. Determinant will be minus 1 plus 3 over 4. So it is minus 1 over 4. So the eigenvalues are my plus minus half. Fine. Now, once you know the eigenvalues, I can write the matrix again. 1 half minus 3 over 2 minus 1. 
so my eigen values are plus minus half now if you read the statement again for which value of the c the integral equation solution existence so what is the case for the solution if you look about the eigen values i can start from this case fine so what is the b i can write the b is again b will be integration from 0 to t k 1 of t into f of t find similarly for second part is a k2 of t into f of t this is my f of t or f of x then i can firstly use the lambda is half then a minus half will be 1 by 2 minus 3 over 2 1 over 2 and it's a minus 3 over 2 Fine. This is x. What is the value of this k1? K1 is my one. So one into this. If you take the integration, it will be half. Sorry, integration of this will be one plus half plus c over three. Second part is k2t. K2t is my t. So if you multiply this by t and then integrate them, it's so one over two plus one over three plus c over four. now when it has admits a solution clearly say if you subtract them then the rank of this matrix is my 1 this has a solution only when it is equal to the rank of this case so i can use r2 minus r1 0 0 fine so it means this number is my 5 over 6 plus c over 4 minus 3 over 2 minus c over 3 fine when this system has a rank 1 when this value is my 0 fine so i can find this value that means 5 over 6 minus i can say 9 over 6 plus c over 4 minus c over 3 is my 0 so it is my minus 4 over 6 it is my minus c over 12 is equal to 0 so c will be minus 4 over 6 into 12 Fine. So it will be two. It will be three. It will be four. So that will be minus eight is the right answer of this problem. Now, since this question is related to the part C, so it may have more than one correct options. And now I can use the second eigen value. That is the second eigen value is my minus half. So this number will be three over two minus three over two. It is half, and it is my half. Again, x. So this value is remain same that I have obtained as a three by two plus c over three and one over two plus one over is a five over six plus c over four. Now clearly say if I used r two minus one over three r one, then the rank of the a will be one. Then it must be equal to the rank of a by b. Then it has a solution only if you use the last expression minus one over three. Minus it will be zero. So again, you can find the values of so it will be five over six minus three over six. It will be c over nine minus c over four. So it will be two over six. It will be minus five over thirty six. So can you find the value of the c? Two over six into thirty six over five. So six minus twelve over five is also the right answer but in this case it is not given so only one correct option according to the lambda is half that is a is my correct answer of this problem so this is a way you can solve this problem and it's it's not a time consuming because i have to write each and everything but if you watch already my these lectures you will get the right answers in a couple of seconds don't forget to like and comment on my video this is the related to the part b and you can see this is not a fred mol this is the voltra equations and once is a voltra equation how you can find the solution clearly clearly say if you remember my this lecture voltra equation fine you will get the answer in a fraction of second how you can get the solution that means laplace inverse of laplace sin t divided by laplace of this function sin of t Because this is a convolution, that's a sine of t. 
Now, can you solve that? For more detail, you can watch my, my lecture, theory lecture of that. So, what is the Laplace of the sine is 1 over s square plus 1 and it will be Laplace of that 1 by 2s plus 1 over s square plus 1. So, if you take the LCM, it will be Laplace inverse 2s over s plus 1 whole square. Fine. So, 2 will be can, uh, common. So, it will be I can add plus 1 and minus 1. So, I can take an you can see I can take in 2 as the outside. I can add plus 1 and I can subtract minus 1. Fine. So, can you find the Laplace inverse of the first component? That will be e raised to power minus of t. What is that? I can use the shifting second theorem. Shifting first theorem. It is a Laplace inverse of t. Then Laplace inverse of the s square. So, that will be my t into e raised to power minus t. So, that will be my solution of this problem. Now, what will be your target? Your target is to find the values at the u of 1. So, it is a twice e raised to power minus 1, e raised to power minus 1. That will be 0 is my right answer on this problem. Fine. So, you can see that it's simple by using the Laplace inverse, you can get your right answer in a very simple manner. Make sure this is a Volta equation, you are unable to write the matrix E. I hope you can like and subscribe my YouTube channel as well. You can share this video with your friends and don't forget to watch my these lectures and let me know in the comment box how many marks you have obtained from this three question 4.75 from the two questions from the part C and one question from the part C. So that means 12.50 how many marks you have obtained in the examinations. Kindly subscribe my YouTube channels. Thank you very much always for the support. Happy learning.